Good morning, folks. Just quick highlights this morning because I've got to get up to Arlington to meet with Dr. Kong Papa Uyen. Long time coming. Anyway, two nights ago in the evening news, we remarked that such large umbral fields were highly unstable and likely to fire again. They did that yesterday as an M4.3 class solar flare erupted in spectacular fashion and the planetary based uptick comes through again. Just like the M2 blast from days ago, this eruption is not Earth directed, but it sure is incredible to watch and to see just how effective some of those planetary geometries can be on our star. Now while this eruption is not heading our way, the sunspots producing these eruptions are finally coming into view. They are still on the limb, but looking very menacing. The other top sun story is the coronal holes. The earth facing opening is just moderately powerful in green, but the red indicates that the incoming opening is extremely powerful, and furthermore it's coming in on the equator. So the northern opening faces us today, while that incoming dark transequatorial opening has the majority of the power two top stories. First, they have just discovered that a 2005 energy surge at Cassini was due to an electrostatic particle beam from Hyperion, which, for those new to the electrical connection theories, is a slow plasma discharge, a mini cosmic thunderbolt, if you will. Back on Earth, NOAA has released some winter predictions, just in general terms, where it will be above or below average temperatures and which areas should see the most precipitation. Top quakes of the day were unusual location rumbles in the Caribbean, Cayman Islands, and way north in the Norwegian Sea just off the coastline. Tropics Watch shows Anna more and more likely to miss a mainland Hawaii landfall should be heading a bit south. The newest storm developing south of Mexico should be breaking due north. And Gonzalo in the Atlantic is now a major hurricane, pounding Bermuda, and also heading north, possibly eastward thereafter. The moisture flow off Gonzalo gives us our top flood watch tonight. Could get ugly up here. Meanwhile, the backside of the low is bringing down major cold behind it. Despite the convergence being in the central states, the high pressure cell is going to do what they do best. Push. The actual storm zones tonight should be west of the convergence in the desert and north of it where the cooler temperatures are really swinging in. Precipitable water overlay on for Australia and New Zealand. The dark blue is where the water is in the atmosphere and those areas take our watch zones down under. The flows here will have rain across much of Europe, but Ireland is very close to the actual center of the cell and the heat and moisture continue racing up from the Mediterranean. That's how you get our watch zones here. Got some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 5.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.